Since the 2016 election, people either vote for Donald Trump or against Donald Trump in the presidential election. So the whole political world, as far as the presidency goes, kind of revolves around Trump, but it's not even the presidency. It's also all the other people in government, whether they support Donald Trump or they're critical of Donald Trump. So of course we have to study and better understand this individual. Now, I have a theory about this that I wanna share, and essentially, it's that Donald Trump is the modern day Uncle Sam. If you don't know who Uncle Sam is, I cover this a little bit in uh, the American history class, but Uncle Sam is US, it's America personified. And I think in a lot of ways, Donald Trump is America personified for both good and bad. And again, I know Donald Trump is a polarizing figure, so I might upset some people out there who either are for him or against him, but that's about self-awareness. Sometimes it's really disruptive to become self-aware, and it's also disruptive to have your ideas challenged when it comes to an individual like President Trump. Now, there's so much uncertainty in the world, especially while I'm recording this, but regardless, Donald Trump needs to be studied and understood. So I make some comparisons here between that individual and America as a whole. I think there are good arguments to be made that Donald Trump is brash, he's overconfident, he's selfish, he's self-absorbed, and you know what? A lot of Americans are that way, and America as a country is that way, thinking that everything revolves around America, and America is the best. I'm not saying America is not the best, I'm saying America thinks that we're the best, and we go around the world, and even when we're in a foreign nation, we're like, oh, they should speak English, they should cater to me. There are elements of that in this individual. I think both Donald Trump and America as a nation are obsessed with social media. I think they're obsessed with notoriety and fame. The number one career that Generation Z wants to be is an influencer. Well, Donald Trump is an influencer. He used social media a lot going all the way back to his 2016 campaign. As a populist, he put a lot of polls out on his Twitter feed to find out what is resonating with the individuals in the country. He's also famous. He spent a lot of time on television and in movies building a name for himself, and this is something that a lot of Americans strive for. Donald Trump and America believe that they can do no wrong, so whether America goes over and bombs a nation, it's like, that was the right nation to bomb. You know, everyone loves America. Look how many people wanna to come to America. Everyone loves America. Anyone who doesn't like America, they're wrong, they're misguided, and Donald Trump has elements of that. Again, not saying that that's not true or some elements of it are not true. I'm just making a comparison. America has made a lot of mistakes in the past, a lot of ugly wars, a lot of ugly decisions about moving jobs one place to another. And Donald Trump has made a lot of bad decisions too. He's declared bankruptcy several times. He's said things that aren't very nice. But at the end of the day, America is arguably the most successful nation in world history. And Donald Trump is extremely successful. He's a former president, billionaire. He's one of the most popular people on the planet. So despite all of Donald Trump's screw-ups throughout his life, he still is extremely successful. And despite all the screw-ups of America, America is still extremely successful. A lot of people do love America, and a lot of people do love Donald Trump. But this is just a few. There's probably other similarities as well that you can kind of pause the video and think about. Like, what other similarities are there between America, and in what ways does Donald Trump personify America? He kind of represents all of America, right down to eating fast food and Diet Cokes.